Because this song is about a doll that survived the Holocaust, along with her best, best friend, Ava Mudball. When Ava was five years old, her family was rounded up in Transylvania, put on a cattle car. And somehow she managed to smuggle Gerda on board that cattle car with her. When they arrived at the concentration camp, she managed to smuggle that doll into the camp with her. Well, Gerda and Ava survived the war. And eventually they settled in Israel and grew old together. When Ava reached her 80s, she started to become very aware of the fact that she probably didn't have a lot of time left and started thinking about what might become of Gerda after she was gone. She didn't want Gerda to end up in a second-hand store or be given away to somebody's child that would have no appreciation and understanding for what they'd been through, so she thought long and hard about this and ultimately decided to donate Gerda to the Holocaust Museum in Jerusalem, Yad Vashem, it's called. And she wrote Gerda a farewell letter. And if you were to read that farewell letter, every hair on your body would stand up straight. And you can read that letter by Googling Gerda the doll, and possibly adding Holocaust, I don't know, but it'll come up and you'll see the photo of the doll and you can read the letter. Because in that letter, Eva explained to her that soon there won't be anybody left that had experienced that, had lived through the war and could tell the stories, and it was going to be up to the dolls and the toys to tell the world what they had seen. Well, the very day that I recorded this song, which I told you was Holocaust Remembrance Day, the Prime Minister of Israel, Benjamin Netanyahu, was giving a speech at Yad Vashem. And the subject of his speech that day was Gerda the Dog. <laughs> While I was in the recording studio recording it. Once you were a snowman, you kept quiet for three whole days. Even when they'd stop the train He never cried, he never once complained When what could never happen did Not all at once, it was bit by bit Some things a small dog shouldn't see Tell him, Gerda, what you saw with me Soon it will be all that's left The precious things that were somehow kept But little girls, little boys The favorite dogs, the favorite toys And Gerda, you're my best, best friend You never let go of me back then I'm leaving you By my Gerda, we must part. Gerda, I know my time is near. There's a museum and it's far from here. A lot of other dolls live there too. Some of them might have had it even worse than you. The ones who made it to Jerusalem. They're asking if you might want to come and live with them. I think it's something good you should do. I told them I would have a talk with you. Here, let me fill your china cup. Just like when we pretend we were all grown up. Turn I go, go and tell the world about all little boys and all the little girls. Tell them, Gerda, what we saw. The good with the bad, Gerda, tell it all. 
the unspeakable must be spoken. To love the spirit that refused to be broken. To love the piles of books we saw burning. How it didn't stop the teaching, it didn't stop the learning. Don't forget to tell about the games we played. It was alright, you can tell them we were afraid. And to love the songs we had in our heads that helped us remember and helped us forget. And how we paint, how we draw, how pretty it was when the snow would fall. And you're to tell them how it was before. The pretty clothes you always wore. Dinner table on a Friday night. We say the prayers by candlelight. And how what could never happen did. Not all at once, it was bit by bit. Some things a small dog shouldn't see. Tell them, Gerda, what you saw with me.